Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com. Today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Tapered Angle with Copper Interior Wall Sconce. This is the 213256CP, and CP means syrup, patina, copper in our world. This is going to be using a back plate that's using an actual piece of copper that has been allowed to be out in the elements. It's vertigreed, which means it starts to form and change a little bit with the green that kind of beautiful patina green on there. They put a layer of resin on it and then bake it in an oven so it so it stops it and it keeps it exactly the way it is. Really, really pretty. And, and also the back plates are, are all one of a kind. So they're, one is going to be different than the other just because of the way this is made. Okay, so this is 20 and a half inches tall, eight point and, well, eight and a half inches wide. Projection out is going to be four inches, which qualifies this to be ADA compliant. ADA is Americans with Disabilities Act. It says that a sconce can only come out up to four inches from the wall. And if you're an interior designer or an architect and you're doing a you know, restaurant or a, uh, let's say a doctor's office or someplace like that and you want to use um, an LED in this as well, you can do that. And we'll get into this in just a second. But it's going to be a nice sconce that's very flat against the wall. If you're a homeowner, it's good for a hallway, it's good for a stairway, where, again, you want to get past it really easily without pulling, you know, at your shoulder there, you know, running up into it, because it's very flush, ADA. So moving on, let's talk about backplate, 20.3 by 8.5. Mounting height from the bottom of the fixture to the middle of your electrical outlet box is going to be 11 and a half inches to the middle of this box great way for you to see a lot more information about that is to look at the install sheets those are the same sheets that are going to be in the box when you get this and let's go look at those right now over on the right hand part of your screen <clears throat> near the top you're going to see a pull down menu where it says choose your finish but if you scroll down a little bit over on the left over there is going to be a link it's going to say click here for installations instructions PDF so open that up for me you're going to see there's some great information on that sheet it's going to show you a parts list it's going to show you how the lamping works how it goes together. The most important thing, it's going to show you how it goes on your junction box and it's going to show you the back of that back plate and, and take advantage of that. Um, you might want to show it to your installer too. Okay, so moving on from there, Hubbardson Forge says this is actually a halogen fixture but it was designed a, quite a bit of time ago before there were a lot of LEDs available for this G9 socket and it's the little G9, if you can even see that, two little prongs just pushes right in. It's going to ship with a 60 watt halogen bulb. It's a dimmable fixture, dims beautifully. If you guys want to do an LED, there's no reason why you can't. There are tons, and I'll bring up a couple of these guys, all these different LEDs that exist out in the marketplace. This is a cob, so see it looks like a corn cob. These guys are phosphorus ones. So these all exist. I got these on Amazon. All you have to do is Google G9 LED and you'll see these kind of pop up all over the place. There's no limit to them really. This is probably the biggest one I've found out in the marketplace. This is a 75 watt equivalent. Fits beautifully in there just like that. Provides a ton of light. It's also dimmable. When you're buying your LEDs online, just make sure you buy the color temperature of the light that you are looking for. Really important. So 3000 Kelvin is the kind of light coming down from the bulbs above me. It's that kind of softer light, uh, a warmer light. If you guys are looking for that cooler daylight, like outside light, that's going to be like 4000, 5000, 6000 Kelvin. So just make sure that you buy a dimmable one if you guys want to dim it. And then the other thing is make sure it's going to be the color temperature you're looking for, okay? Um, after that, why don't we talk about the finish on the angle part of this, which is the forging. And that's going to be the part where you can choose your finish. We have a finishes help guide on our website. It's over on the left-hand side of the screen in the red tabs. Open that up. Top of that page is going to be a video of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes, how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be talking about a colored chart farther down on the page. So scroll down until you see that chart. And you can do a lot of things with that chart. So you can use it with the video because it's going to explain a lot of things. But after you're done, scoot back down to the chart you can click on any of those pictures and a bigger window is going to pop up with lots of samples of whatever finish you just clicked on. So if you want to see a lot of things in bronze, click on bronze, natural iron, dark smoke, and so on and so on and so on. So we have this on display in our showroom on the first floor of our showroom. We have over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a what's on display page. It's on our website on the left hand side of your screen back in those tabs again. So click and open that up and you'll see everything we have here for you guys to see. 
biggest showroom in the world of Hubbardton Fords. There is no other. Hubbardton uses this as their showroom if you guys come to Vermont to visit them. Um, and on top of all that, we have a clearance center. So clearance center stuff is returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples, 75% off MSRP. It's an amazing bargain. You have to come here to use it. Remember that. And if you guys do come visit, measure everything you can think to measure. So measure your ceiling heights and your counter heights and your counter lengths and your table lengths, all that kind of stuff. If you have a, a iPad, maybe uh, you can take some pictures of what you guys have going on, including the ceiling, so I can kind of see what your project's all about, and we can kind of go over that when you guys stop in, okay? Showroom is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can call us at 802-446-2400. Talk to me during business hours. You can email us all the time at sales at handmadeinvermont.com. There's a contact button at the top of our website, too, that will launch your outlook to the same address, okay? Uh, when you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No one else does that. Some larger items, that's going to be big things generally on pallets, and custom things are non-returnable. We'll always talk about that ahead of time so there are no surprises. We also offer a rush program. So Hubbardton Forge will give you all these options to play with because they don't stock anything. It generally takes about three to four weeks for them to produce something. We can cut that time in half, and it's very inexpensive. If you guys want to know more about that, email me. And it's per line item. So if you have, let's say you have two or three of these same tapered sconces in the same finish, that's one line item. So it's super cheap to get it out fast. Just drop me a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and I can tell you more about that, okay? So we hope you guys make a pilgrimage to see us. And if you guys have any questions, let me know, okay? Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Bye-bye.